We're getting pretty close to the state line to pass into New Mexico now. Welcome to New Mexico. Yep, I got it. Yeah! Here is Carlsbad, New Mexico, and we're heading to Walmart to resupply stuff. Okay, you know you're in New Mexico when you have liquor inside the Walmart. And they do have Tito's, which is my favorite vodka. Uh, going up to the rim on the windy mountain roads. It's really fun to drive this. Hundreds of millions of years ago, there was a warm, shallow sea here called the Permian Sea. The area uplifted and the sea dried up, but the limestone reefs along the edge remained. The Guadalupe Mountains was one of those reefs. The rim of the Guadalupe Mountains is a long cliff up to 2,000 feet high. You can occasionally find people hang gliding off of here. Carlsbad Caverns and Lechaguilla Cave are under the Guadalupe Mountains. We come back to the rim and visit Carlsbad Caverns later in our trip. Okay, we're up in the rim, but it's super windy, like like 36 mile an hour wind, sustained wind. It is Filled up on gas, and now we're gonna head out and get on the road. We stopped at the gas station that blocked that way to go to the restroom, and Joel wanted to get a photo of me and the alien real quick, so we are. Here's the gas station we were at, and I like how they have the little spaceship on the top. I think that's so cute. We are in Santa Rosa, New Mexico now, and we're at the elevation 4,600 feet. We made it to Santa Rosa State Park. I'm definitely tired and hungry and ready for some food and then just chill out for a little camp is all packed up and before we leave uh, Santa Rosa Lake State Park we're going to check out this trail. Look at the pretty lake over there. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Look at this view. Isn't this amazing? It's so pretty out here. Here's some mountains. Just beautiful outside today. I love how you can see the little patch of the sunlight between the clouds. It's so cool. I I, I can't even. This is so cool. So we made it to Santa Fe, and uh, what do you want to eat for dinner, Joel? Uh. Here's where we decided. So I'm gonna try this local beer. It's called that Nut Brown Ale, brewed right here in Santa Fe. We have this little cute patio area, and Joel and I are gonna sit outside. I got the Norm, which is uh, pepperoni, house-made sausage, and olives and mushrooms. And he got his gluten-free pizza with artichokes and feta cheese. Okay, so how did you like the food, Joel? It was good. I give the gluten-free pizza four out of five. Nice, nice. Now I gotta turn around. How was your food? It was really good. I'd definitely come back here and the beer was really good too. Five out of five? Yeah. Awesome. I, I'd buy the beer. No, I'm, I would buy a six pack. Very good. I wish you could get it in Houston. <laughs> Camp is packed up and now we're gonna go up the mountain. I love how all the trees are actually different colors. Here's one look off point. Aspen grow quickly from a large shared root system called a clone. After a fire or other forest disturbance, they are the first to return and it takes many years for the slower growing but more shade tolerant fir, spruce, and pine to catch up. The Forest Service said this area of Aspen is a result of a large forest fire in the 1880s. We're going to go back to Santa Fe and see if we can see a little bit. The mountains totally threw me for a loop. They were just so beautiful. We got to see a lot though. And we're excited to see Santa Fe, New Mexico. This drive, I can't even get over this. This is crazy. It's pretty sweet. 
Look at this. Isn't this crazy? I love the black lights. Look at this room, it's all black and white. You can go into the fireplace. 